A nuclear reactor meltdown is a catastrophic failure in which the core of a nuclear reactor overheats. This leads to the melting of its fuel and possibly releasing harmful radiation into the environment. Nuclear reactors rely on the cooling system to maintain the temperature of the reactor core. The fuel rods inside the core, typically made of uranium or plutonium, generate significant heat due to nuclear fission. If the cooling system fails due to mechanical failure, natural disasters like an earthquake or tsunami, or human error, the core temperature can rise to dangerous levels. Without cooling, the heat generated by nuclear fission cannot be dissipated. This causes the fuel rods to heat up excessively. Let's take the case of, Shin of, um, of Fukushima as, a, as an example. One of the first things that basically happened there was the tsunami and earthquake com combination disrupted power supply to the reactor. And importantly, it, it basically knocked out the backup generators that, that um, are there to, to pump the coolant through the core. Although the, the control rods uh, slammed in basically immediately, the, the reaction, the fission reaction has basically stopped. However, the fuel is still very hot. This is called radiogenic heat. If you can't circulate the coolant, the water, for example, then what you'll find happening is that the water starts to evaporate and it starts to boil off. If this is allowed to keep continuing, then you find yourself in a situation where the fuel eventually becomes uncovered, unexposed, and importantly, there's no medium from which to transfer the heat away from, from the fuel. And that's when you're really in trouble. So that's when you can start to really elevate temperature of the cladding material. And eventually, um, if, if coolant isn't supplied uh, through some other medium, then uh, we enter sort of what's, what's commonly known as, an, as a meltdown scenario. As the temperature rises, the zirconium cladding surrounding the fuel rods begins to react with steam, producing hydrogen gas. The buildup of hydrogen gas can lead to an explosion. This was a significant issue during the 2011 Fukushima disaster, where hydrogen gas explosions occurred, damaging the reactor buildings. As the temperature continues to increase, the fuel rods themselves can begin to melt. This process is called a core melt. The uranium or plutonium fuel inside the rods can reach temperatures over 2,000 degrees Celsius or 3,632 degrees Fahrenheit. This is high enough to melt the concrete and steel surrounding the core and form a molten mass, including highly hazardous radioactive isotopes. 